Hi Aries, welcome to your tarot reading for this week, December 15th to December 22nd. Please bear in mind this is a general reading, it won't resonate for every Aries out there, but if you want to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Also keep in mind the energy I pick up on can be vice versa and interchangeable if we're talking about someone around you. If this does resonate for you Aries, please give this video a like and subscribe so I have more Aries energy to work with. And if it doesn't resonate, feel free to check out your moon and your rising sign. Okay, so as always, we'll start off by getting you an oracle card to get the overall energy for the week. Then we'll jump into the tarot and see what your challenge is and what you don't see coming. Then we'll pull you some monology advice and finish off with your romance angels. One more shuffle for Aries. Aries, what is the energy? What is the vibe for this week? December 15th to 22nd, please. What's the overall energy for my Aries collective? Thank you. We have Healer of the Ages. Beautiful. Aries, this is, before I even read it for you, okay, this is the deepest possible healing there is. It's deep. May not be pretty, but it's beautiful and transformational. Let me read that for you. Wow. Powerful time for my Aries. 51. This powerful being brings the force of ancient wisdom and profound healing. The light of divine consciousness pours from his hands and heart, flowing to you with love and a powerful healing intention. This amazing entity is with you now, bringing resolution to physical, mental and emotional ills, helping you to unblock stuck energy and revitalize your life force. You may have felt the strong presence recently, or you may just be opening to the wonderful sensations now. You can call upon this emissary of miraculous transformation whenever you need vitality, balance or renewal. Know that at the deepest level, an important healing is taking place. Wow, that is really, really beautiful, Aries. And that is your overall energy for the week, my love. Healing. Yes. Need we say more? Whatever. Obviously, it's going to be different for each of you. Um, but whatever unhealed pain, trauma, whatever it is for you that you have, it is being healed. You're divinely um, protected. Okay, beautiful. I feel quite, um, I don't know, I feel this energy of like, it's a very soft, soothing, compassionate energy. How beautiful. It always comes out in your reading somehow, Aries. You guys are very, very protected as of late. It's lovely. But now the real healing begins. I like it. Okay, let's jump into the tarot. <clears throat> let's see if we can get any more clarity into what this is that is being healed. Aries, please. What is this healer of the ages energy about? Thank you. Mm. Okay, so for some of you, it's abandonment issues. Thank you. With the Eight of Cups here. Some of you are healing abandonment issues. Okay, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, I mean, this is such a broad topic, right? And it's going to be different for each of you. But it's something here... Like I said, either abandonment issues or um, something or someone that left you very disappointed in the past. Someone who walked away from you. That kind of energy, okay? That feeling of being abandoned, feeling left behind, feeling unappreciated, feeling disappointed. Anything like that that's lingering within you is being healed. Clouded judgment, okay? This is beautiful. We're getting clarity when we heal we're able to see more clearly. It's really, really nice. Really nice. Yeah, this is deep, Aries. This is really deep. 
it's it's a really deep healing where we're gaining that inner clarity we're when we're discovering who we are again we're coming back to ourselves we're clearing out whatever this was i keep hearing abandonment issues really lovely oval energy there aries can i get one more on that eight of cups please what is this eight of cups for aries please Please clarify this Eight of Cups for my Aries. Thank you. The Emperor in reverse. Here you are. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's something, whatever this is, it's something that had you completely beside yourself, I'm hearing. I keep coming back to abandonment, someone leaving you. Maybe it could go as far back as to childhood, you know, if, if a parent or someone abandoned you or a previous lover, something. But it's really deep. Here you are showing up in reverse, Aries. It's something that really pulled you out of yourself, out of your power, really knocked you off your feet, truly. Had you all confused, not knowing who you are, yeah. You're healing from it, okay? It's beautiful, my love. I can't even explain the energy I'm feeling. It's really nice. Really nice. So good for you. That's the overall energy. Beautiful. Okay. What is the challenge for Aries this week, please? Oh, thank you. Give me a second. It's on the floor. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. Your challenge this week, Aries, I'm going to clarify, but it could be um, having to discipline yourself to not act impulsively on something. I'm feeling like for some of you, you know, when things come up to the surface to be healed, it's not always comfortable and you may feel an urge to kind of do something impulsive to escape from that healing from whatever that is that comes up so your challenge is going to be to not do that and to sit with it but let me clarify please what's this knight of wands for aries please clarify this knight of wands for my aries One's energy for Aries. Okay. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Interesting. We have the three of swords, okay? Yeah. Like I said, I feel like that's what this is, Aries. When this comes to the surface to be healed, it's not pretty, right? Healing never is. It's painful. Real, true healing is not pretty. Unicorns, rainbows, salt baths, you know, that it's deeper than that. It's painful. It is. Okay. That's going to, it's going to be, that's going to be your challenge. Okay. Is to stay in your light maintain your energy whilst you go through this healing process and avoid i keep hearing this avoid acting impulsively to try and cover it up for example if you feel like you know what i'm just gonna go and blow a whole load of money on some stuff i don't need to cover up this pain this healing because i don't want to face it or i'm gonna impulsively i don't know anything anything you feel like you want to do impulsively just sit with yourself when the urge comes up Sit with whatever this is that comes to the surface and ask yourself, okay, where is this feeling coming from? Instead of, you know, change your question to something empowering. I'm hearing instead of saying, why is this happening to me? Or why is this coming back up to the surface? I don't want to deal with this. Why do I feel this way? Ask yourself more empowering questions like, okay, what is this within me that wants to be healed? What is the benefit here for me? What's trying to grow? what's what is this trying to teach me you know ask yourself empowering questions and face it so so that it can be healed the more you run away from it and, and escape it you're just prolonging the process it needs to be healed and it, it's beautiful area so don't run from it 
okay? That's your challenge this week. Yeah. Okay. Nice. What do we not see coming, please, for Aries? What do we not see coming? Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, Aries. Oh, wow. I love it. Okay. All right. Interesting here. Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. We then have the Eight of Swords. And then we have the Three of Wands in reverse. Okay. So, Aries... What you don't see coming is this cycle closing out and a new, much more positive, um, feel-good cycle beginning. This Wheel of Fortune is a brand new cycle starting, one of good luck, one of fortune, one that's in your favour. And of course, that happens when you heal that which needs to be healed, you close out that cycle and that's when a new one can begin. It can't begin until you heal this and close it out once and for all, right? And I feel like what we are closing out is this Eight of Swords, this victim mentality or just, you know, self-limiting beliefs or just negative thinking in general, which obviously all of those things are a result of unhealed emotions, unhealed trauma, whatever the case may be. So, But you don't see it coming, which is really, really beautiful really nice i feel like it's one of those things where the healing is kind of forced on you i don't think it's your choice to say right let me sit with myself and ask myself what needs healing no something either triggers you or something happens outside of your control that leads you to this healing without really your input it's like you don't have a choice and that's why you don't see this coming but once it's healed baby baby new cycle closing out any of this beautiful now the three of wands is here in reverse which tells me that there may be i can see this two ways there either could be a delay with this of course because healing takes time so be patient with yourself or this could be another part of the energy that we are actually closing out when this new cycle begins okay so if there is a delay with this and you feel like oh you know all my tarot readings keep telling me this new cycle is going to begin or i'm waiting for this new thing to take off and there's a delay there's a delay be patient understand that healing is a process and it takes time don't slip into any negative thinking patterns stay positive stay in your power and know that baby the cycle is closing out and a new one is beginning okay you just don't see it coming at the moment but it is now for some of you i do just have to point out at the bottom of the deck here we have the two of cups in reverse and then the um seven of swords so i do feel like just for some of you it's very possible that um within a love connection there is some deception going on or if it's not actual deception, it's just someone in a connection is not trusting the other person. Could be you, could be your person. And if that's the case, that's why this is your challenge. To not act Im impulsively because you feel this pain because you're suspecting someone's deceiving you. You understand? Or even if you find out that somebody was and it causes you this pain. Again, don't act impulsively. Stay in your peace and allow all of this healing to happen. Do you see what I'm saying? for some of you take it how it resonates okay let's see what the immunology advice is for my aries for this week we have had um in your last few readings this energy of someone that can't be trusted coming up right or like hating kind of energy if this is that same person, hallelujah, the cycle is closing out and you can finally start to heal from whatever that person put you through, right? For some of you. Yeah. Anyway, okay. One more shuffle. Okay. 
What is the immunology advice, please, for Aries for this week? December 15th to the 22nd. Aries. Thank you. We have you and your loved ones are safe. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Okay, let me read that for you. New moon in Cancer. 48. There's a new start coming in your private life. Something is rising up in connection with the people and places you hold dearest. This can be to do with a member of your family, a flatmate or moving house. If you're hoping to move forwards with something special in your private life, this card comes to you as a message that you can do it. If you've been neglecting your family, it's time to reconnect with them. If you've been neglecting yourself, you need to take better care of yourself and nurture yourself more. If your insecurity is holding you back, that's something for you to work on now. Doing so could bring you your heart's desire. Make sure you put family first. Okay, take that how it resonates, but lovely. It's beautiful, Aries. Thank God, finally, this, whatever that energy was, it's been lingering through your readings. It's clearing on out. We're finally healing you and your loved ones are safe it's beautiful beautiful okay let's see what the energy is in love for aries couple shuffles one more okay what is the advice? What is the energy? What is the vibe in love for Aries for this week, please? Oh, thank you. Wow, they've all jumped out so quick for you. Mm. We have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. And bottom of the deck, we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Yeah. So take that how it resonates, my love. I hope this gives you some clarity for the week ahead. If it does resonate, please let me know in the comments. I love to hear your stories. Give this video a like and subscribe. If you want to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. And until your next reading, I wish you a beautiful week a month ahead. Take care. Bye.